Hey brothers and sisters, it's Jared. I'm going to be making this video to address some certain issues that I've been seeing come up for a while now. I have been online and watched quite a few of the Mario Illuminati video exposed or the Vigilant Christian Illuminati exposed videos and so I want to give my opinion on this situation. As many of you watching this probably already know that Mario gets under a lot of heat for a lot of different issues and some of these may be warranted some of them may not be warranted but what I will say is that the claims that a lot of these videos are making are kind of ridiculous I mean I went and watched every single one of them with an unbiased open mind as I do with pretty much every video and what I use to filter through those is the Word of God and the discernment of the Holy Spirit now every one of these videos I uh, didn't pass through the filter <laughs> pretty much so I pray this video will help clear some things up now I don't agree with Mario about everything there are many things that I do disagree with him on and I want to dispel this misconception that we as brothers and sisters in Christ are going to agree on all things all the time that's just not true we are united in Christ, not united in every single train of thought that we have. This is for many different reasons. I mean, some brothers and sisters are more mature than others. That's like telling a young child that they have to agree with you on everything. Well, that child's not going to agree with you on everything because they have not matured yet, so they don't understand things that you understand as an adult. Or it can be because of sin. Maybe another brother or sister has stumbled into error in some issue, and they've been blinded to something that your eyes are open to because you haven't been in sin in that area. Now, once again, I'm not addressing specific issues with Brother Mario. I'm just trying to explain why we do not always agree with other brothers and sisters in Christ. And what are we supposed to do? Well, the Bible tells us to be humble. God resisteth the proud. So we are supposed to be humble in all things as well and not go to this mindset that the world goes to of I'm right, you're wrong, you have to see things my way. I mean, that's not of Christ. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, I want to just say one thing straight up. People that are saying that Mario is the Illuminati, he's trying to influence people towards evil, well, I mean, we can obviously see through his videos that that is not true. What I will say is this, a lot of people have a concern of, well, Brother Mario, he only talks about this subject or that subject, why doesn't he do this, and why doesn't he do that, why doesn't he do this? Well, we can see in scripture that we are not to make judgment calls on how another brother or sister is or is not doing things. It says in Romans 14, 4, Who art thou that judgeth another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up, for God is able to make him stand. You see, unless Brother Mario is teaching things that are apostate and heresy, we aren't supposed to judge the way that he is glorifying the Lord. Once he starts going into false teaching, yes, you are supposed to say things. You are supposed to exhort him. You are supposed to go to him first individually, then with another, then in front of the church. Now, I don't really know how that plays out in the online community. Um, that's something I'm still praying about and trying to figure out. But you are supposed to talk to him and you are supposed to send him a message first. And I'm already anticipating what you guys are saying. I have sent him a message. He doesn't reply back. All right, well, let's think about this empathetically. Let's just look at it from another perspective besides our own. Mario has almost a thousand videos. If he gets one comment on each video a day, then he has a thousand comments. If he gets more than that, which I know he does, he probably gets several thousand comments a day. If your comment gets missed, that should be no surprise. You should send him several messages and don't get frustrated about it. Ask yourself this, have you prayed about any of the comments that you sent him? After you sent the comment, did you pray to the Lord that he would see it and that it would be used by God to do what the Lord would have it to do. 
I mean, these are some serious questions, guys, because if we're just sending a comment, we're like, he didn't reply, we get frustrated about it. I'm going to tell you straight up, that's not the Lord. That's not the spirit of Christ. We don't send a comment to a brother and then get upset about it. I mean, then you got to ask yourself, was the Holy Spirit even leading you to send that comment? So, I mean, these are things that we should always examine. We should test the spirits to see if they are of God, even in our own life. So this is what I would say, even if Brother Mario doesn't respond to you, our heart should be, Lord, I pray that comment would be used by you to edify our brother in the Lord. I mean, that, that should be our heart, really. Who cares if he replies back? All that we care about is that he's growing closer to Christ if we truly have love for him. Okay, so now one of the issues that I do definitely see is a relevant issue and I am praying that this video does address Brother Mario in this, is that we have to be open to what our brothers and sisters do say. I think what has actually happened is that Mario maybe unknowingly has become callous to brothers and sisters who are coming in love because of the flood of negative, false, attacks that he is getting so let's be empathetic on this brothers and sisters let's look at it in this manner okay comments are the worst possible way to communicate with people like pretty much i mean there are probably worse ways like morse code and stuff like that but really these are pretty bad ways to communicate with people okay and let's think about it from this slide. All right, so let's say Brother Mario gets a comment that's like, you're an idiot, you're in the Illuminati, you're an anti-Semite, you're serving Satan, and you're sitting on his lap while you're convincing people to go to hell, okay? So he gets this negative comment said in just this evil way that's coming from a spirit of anger. And then your comment is directly underneath that. And it says, you're wrong. You need to read the scripture more. This is not right. Even though you came in a spirit of peace and concern for your brother, do you understand how like these two comments can be used by the enemy to like mix together and he could read your comment like, you're wrong, you need to read the scripture more, this is not right. Like, do you understand how that could happen? Comments don't convey emotion. That's why when I comment people, I try and keep that in mind and try and show how I'm coming to them in love. I'll be like brother or sister and I'll just try and convey emotion in the way that I talk. Little flat lines don't convey emotion or the love that you may be feeling for this brother or sister. So we should always keep that in mind. Okay. So I do see where brother Mario is getting calloused in some of these comments and some of his responses I don't agree with. I believe he is responding many times when he doesn't need to because people are trolls and they're sent by the enemy to attack him so he's wasting time and energy there and I also believe he's mixing in some brothers and sisters who are coming in with general concern with these trolls because He's responding to people who are not coming in love. So he's kind of mixing it all together. And I believe that there's error in that. But sending a comment is not going to correct an error a brother or sister has in the way they respond to comments. Like, think about the logic in that. It's like, yeah, I see this brother or sister is going into error the way that they respond to comments. So I'm going to send them a comment. Like, it just doesn't even sound right. We got to understand our weapons are not carnal. If you really see this is going on with Brother Mario, pray for him. Pray for him. Like, our weapons are not carnal, but mighty through God to the tearing down of strongholds and principalities. We pray for Brother Mario. You can ask him, do you think I've commented on any of these things saying, hey, look, dude, you're wrong with this. Look, you're wrong with this. No, I pray for him. And that's what we're supposed to do as believers. The world uses comments to get points across and convince people of things. I am not saying there's no place for comments. If the Lord presses on your heart through the Holy Spirit to leave Brother Mario a comment, then do it. But do it in a spirit of love. Do it as if you want to glorify the Lord, not convince Mario of something. And definitely pray over the comment. Pray that Brother Mario receives the comment. Pray about all of these things. Prayer is ultimately our weapon. 
But the final point that I want to cover is people who are saying, Mario only talks about the Illuminati. He only talks about the satanic system. Well, first of all, I think that that's not really a true statement because I have listened to many of Brother Mario's videos and he does profess the only truth over this system, which is Jesus Christ the Lord. Now, what I want you guys to completely look at, has Brother Mario's ministry been a blessing to you? Like, when you started to wake up, was this a ministry that helped you see things in the light of Christ, have understanding of the wickedness that was in the world, some of the ways that these deceptions had gotten into your life, and help you deal with some of these issues? Because I'm going to be honest, it did that for me. And you should understand that the Vigilant Christian ministry is not for mature spiritually strong believers it's for those who are young in the faith it's for those who have fallen into lukewarmness it's for those who have been deceived by the world to say hey this is wickedness this is wrong this is against god this is how it's working towards the antichrist beast system it is a watchman ministry mario's not your pastor you're not in discipleship under him. This is not for a believer who's been walking with the Lord for years, cutting off sin, gouging out things. I mean, a believer like that may see this and have greater understanding, but he's not going to come here every single day and say, oh, what does Mario have to teach me today? No. I mean, the word of God is what teaches us. That's why I started up end time sermons for people who see this stuff, understand it, get it, and want to move on to words from the Lord by men of God who have been raised up by the Holy Spirit to teach, edify, and exhort the body of Christ in these last days. I mean, we have been given an opportunity that... <laughs> Not many people have been given to listen to words from the Holy Spirit of God from all over the world, and people just miss out on it daily. It has truly been a blessing from the Lord in my life. At my job, I'm able to listen to these sermons, so I'm able to listen to about three sermons a day, and whichever ones the Lord presses upon my heart for this channel, I post up here so that it can bless you guys as well. So I pray you would take part in it. And Mario has Bible study series and things like that. And if you look, those are his least viewed videos. So I'll question this. The same people who are saying this, are you guys watching his Bible study videos? Because if you're not, I mean, then your point is completely null and void. I We have to understand that what he's doing right here is waking people up and warning people and that's something that the lord has pressed upon his heart and we should keep him in prayer not downgrade him for doing that if it blessed you don't you think it will bless somebody else too i mean there's still people that need to be woken up don't be deceived and say that there aren't there are if you've been woken and this isn't benefiting you anymore then move on but don't tell this man how he should or should not do things I see the need for strong men and women of God professing the truths of the gospel just as much as all as you do. And if the Lord has pressed this upon your heart, maybe instead of telling someone else that they should do it, you should go and do it. Start up a channel glorifying the Lord. Start up a channel uh, professing the truths of the scripture and, and leading in sound doctrine. Don't push it off on somebody else. So I pray that this dispelled a lot of the just controversy that's going around about Brother Mario and let us be empathetic to what is going on with him and let us also understand that maybe it's not that, oh, well, he's so wrong. Maybe it's we need to grow up and move on and go and seek the Lord and, and understand what he has for us. He woke us up. Now let's move on and and grow. That's how we're supposed to be as Christians, continually ever growing. So I just want to encourage you guys in that. And I love you all.